I'm just making chicken for my kids, and that's when we get back for tonight. Every week, I get to like I get to make one meal and make it the way that I make it. And I don't, I don't really need you to like see, you know. Wait till I put it in the stove. I don't need you to see my my secrets. No, that's it. I just enjoy the process. I enjoy every step of going into a fight because you never know how many you really have. Okay. At this point, I'm not even thinking about the next guy. Or, it's just Stipe, like honestly. Because it could just be Stipe and just be it. You know, it's not about, well, what's next and who's the next guy. I mean, you go look at that first embedded, you didn't see all these grays in my beard. You know, like, it's a long time. Time's passed. It's a long time to be fighting at the top of the sport. You know, from that very first embedded, I was already at the top of the sport at 35 years old. You know, now I'm 40. I've done everything I can do in mixed martial arts, and I'm so content with my career, but there's nothing like walking through that curtain and going to compete, and I knew that I had to do it again, and that's why I will be fighting August 17th. Hey, when you're ready, I'll be waiting for you. No, no, <laughs> come to the jungle. <laughs> we good? No, 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 don't sit. Give me a control. Switch the input. What do you think? I say we start. I say we start with the lighter, the lighter guys. I've been beating his ass just over and over again with Rob Woodick. You want Izzy? We'll see what happens this time. What's the buttons? What are the buttons again? Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He don't like that. Sam Alvey one time, man. <laughs> no, you did. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Pikachu! <laughs> Hi. Huh. She's got so many nicknames. She's like Pikachu, Muchabins. Who else? Moochie. Moo. Moochie Moo. The Mooster. 720, man. Why did you bring that much money? Because you don't know what's going to be here, babe. When's if the f I don't know, the Holy Grail is here and we know, no one knew about it, but we did. Yeah. With our expertise, like, knowledge of, of Listen, flea market. it's called the internet, babe. Um, so how, how do I do this? Like, how do I barter? I mean, you I barter, how do I, how do I haggle? You say you want this here. Okay, the whole the, the, the closet. 15 on it. I don't like 15. Okay, what do you want off it? 16. You got it. <laughs> Tam, Tam. I like this guy. Yeah, uh, He's great. I love him. I mean, that's what I'm talking about right here. The Wiggles. Oh, yeah. Listen. What's up, guys? What's up, Steve Bray? How you doing? Good, man. Good. Right, all right. No, Got anything for, like, podcasting and stuff? Jay, where's the pod? Like microphones and stuff? Yeah, whatever, man. Anything. Here's a microphone right there. Yeah. How much you want for this thing? For the future champ, ten bucks. Seriously? Yes, sir. Woo! My first deal. Uh, yeah. See you boys later. Right. How much for a Stone Cold doll? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, I'm getting crazy. How you doing, sir? So he wants sixty. I know. How about forty? 42 and a half. I'll do 45. Deal. Thank you. Yes! Thank you. Thank you, sir. We're done, We're done with the flea market? Yeah. Let's go, babe. Let's go out there. Thank you. Thank you. Don't get too close to the ass of the horse. Yeah, you get after it, bud. You get that teat. Jesus. Look at the size of this one. Wow. Oh my God. Loves kittens, neck scratches, and being majestic. That, no, that's my kind of horse, majestic. Look at this guy, he's chilling. Who's a good boy? Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> yeah, crazy. You get big girl. Guy out, I man. promise. Out. I promise. I'll be, I'll be, out, I got you. Those are cute shorts, bro. I just put off on me and touched my dick. The pineapples, what's up? And it burns. Does it? Does it? I just shaved too. <laughs> I look like a full on. I didn't. I want to be. You, there's no leeches in here. Well, it's gonna be nice and easy walking down. Uh, man, I fish all the time now, bro. Anyone need help setting up? I got me some friends that know what they're doing now. <laughs> um, man, it's just relaxing. Like for me, it's all the hard work's done. Sunday, chilling out with the boys. No stress. And fishing's just like one of them pastimes. It's just fun, man. Like, under. Oh, wait. Oh, got one ready. You got one? Yep. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what up? Let's go. On the board already. <laughs> you know, grab that bottom lip and. I don't want to get a picture with it real fast. I'm a fisherman now, bro. I'm going to start my own page, I think. Hey, 10 minutes out. Already out on the board. First fish of the day, your boy. First fish out of everyone. That's a nice one too. Let's let him go. This is the smallest bass ever. Look how small it's okay. Jesus Christ. Come on, damn it, get in here. I'm glad you even take that one. Come on, sir, we doubled up. I see mine right here. This is Wisconsin, bro. Wisconsin is just chill. I grew up in the city, so like I didn't get the experience this a rock bass? Woo, rock bass. Smalley. That's a nice. I step over and get your camera a lot. Do I have to put my foot in there? No, you don't have to. It's just solid. But Even I'll, if I fall or whatever. You're you good know. right here. Because really, we're just trying to get that lock. Yeah. We're not trying to get it finished right there. So, help me. And now from here, it's whatever he's going to do. Right? Uh, it's fight week. We're out in Corona Del Mar. Hanging out, getting ready to go fight this coming weekend, Saturday. Okay. I like to try to go get my own, my own setup, try to chill out, get away from that, the whole um, atmosphere. And then uh, I got the whole team, a bunch of riders. So when I go to a fight, everybody comes. When they go to a fight, we all go. It's uh, just how, how it goes. All the boys over here, they're never, they're never getting ready. They're just, we're just staying ready. You know, I call them all the way to Hawaii to come and indulge in this, and it's just all my boys getting ready for war. And the work is never over. The work is never over. So when you can have a bunch of your teammates, a bunch of your family members, your friends, a bunch of the soldiers and the ninjas coming together, like it's just a better preparation for battle. You know, you can bring, we can bring all this together and collaborate and get ready for war. Just because you didn't have fight schedule didn't mean you don't train. You train every day anyway. Real athletes, real martial artists, you, you don't stop training. You might pick it up when it gets close to a fight, but you know, maybe call that fight camp, but you're never out of the gym. I've known Duke for like 20 years. Duke learned Muay Thai from my teacher. So yeah, I know, I know the camp pretty well, but uh, it wouldn't matter if the opponent changed at the last minute. He's training to fight whoever's the best. He's training to fight the best guy in, you know, on the planet. And so it, it really doesn't matter who actually steps in front of him.